Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Nandini here with us, who's recently been placed at Cisco through her campus placements at VIT. Now, before we talk to her, let's just look at the eligibility criteria. So, all students belonging to the CSC and the circuit branches with a CGP of 7 or 70% in 10th, 12th, as well as the pursuing degree with no standing arrears were eligible. So, now let's go ahead and talk to Nandini. Hi Nandini, uh, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Thank you. Uh, so, would you like to introduce yourself first? Sure. First of all, thank you Jishnu for having me here. Um, hi everyone, my name is Nandini Sachan. I'm from Bhopal. Recently, I've been selected for the software consulting engineer role in Cisco, both internship and full time. And I will be beginning my journey with Cisco in January. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, you can now tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and how they were. <coughs> sure. So, firstly, we were given the during the application, we were given many role preferences like software consulting engineer, software development, uh, site reliability engineer, risk analyst, etc. Uh, I gave the first preference to the software consulting engineer role and second preference to the software development role since I'm from electronics background. Okay. After that, we had the online test. It had MCQ questions uh, based on aptitude and CS fundamentals. Okay. And apart from those questions, we had two coding questions. So, the coding questions were easy to medium level questions. Okay. After this, around 130 to 135 students were shortlisted for the interview process. And it had three rounds, a technical round, managerial round, and HR round. Okay. So, all the three rounds were elimination rounds. So, firstly, for the tech uh, round, my technical round went on for 45 to 50 minutes. And uh, firstly, she started with my introduction and then she moved right to the resume. So, she asked me to explain one of my projects which I was most interested in okay. and why did I choose the project and what was the goal of the project. Then she asked a few questions from <coughs> my volunteering experiences and then she gave me a basic linked list question for coding and sh uh, she asked me to code it on the screen. Hmm. Uh, I could use any language, it was not a problem, so I chose CVP. I was able to solve the question and after that she asked me, we had a really good discussion over this uh, question. Okay. After then she moved to the data structures theory. She asked me very basic questions like applications of stacks and applications of queues. Okay. I don't remember all the questions. Mm. Uh, then after that she asked me from operating systems. So from operating systems she asked about deadlock and conditions of deadlock, priority queues, process scheduling, etc. After that from object oriented programming she asked very basic questions like abstraction, inheritance, types of inheritance, okay. encapsulation mm. and then she told me to like not give the bookish definitions. She was expecting some explanation so I explained everything with the help of examples. Okay. After that she asked me about some of the, she asked me that I have studied networking subject or not. Mm. So I told her that I didn't study but then Two, she try, uh, she asked me to try it out some of the very really mm. basic questions. So I, she asked me about firewalls, VPN. So I was able to answer these basic questions. So I guess that was a, uh, you know, plus point. Okay. Uh, after that, she, finally she asked me that my resume included G learning projects. So she asked me that you have. Uh, ML projects and you apply for the software consulting role so mm. can you back it up so I told her about my final year project and uh, I'm thinking of expanding one of my ML projects into my final year projects and how it can be useful for the mm. customer experience okay so according to me I think this uh, gave me a push okay so after that um, I was shortlisted for management and it 
only the manageable round uh, went on for 45 to 50 minutes. Firstly, he told me to introduce myself and he, he told me to explain about my projects mm. rather than focusing on the personal uh, stuff. Mm. And he asked me to like give the reason for choosing that particular project okay. and also uh, what did I learn from it and what challenges I faced. Hmm. So, uh, uh, he started cross-questioning and I had ML projects, so we went into a machine learning discussion. And then uh, we discussed about ML, AI, deep learning, etc. So, he seemed to be very interested in that topic. Okay. After that, he asked me to, uh, he gave me some languages like Java, Python, CPP. And then he asked me to rate myself on these three languages on a scale of 1 to 10. Hmm. So the purpose for this question was to determine whether I'm able to self-analyze and test my analytical abilities. Okay. So then he asked me the same question like whether I've studied networking or hmm. not. Okay. So I told him that I haven't hmm. but still he uh, pushed me to uh, like answer hmm. questions, basic hmm. questions. Hmm. So he asked me about proxy servers and DNS and VPN okay. etc. Hmm. MAC address, IP address. Hmm. So I guess from six questions from networking I was able to answer four or five of them. Okay. And for the one which I wasn't able to answer I told him that I'm, I haven't come across this topic. Hmm. So hmm. I won't be able to answer. Mm, mm. So then he told me, he asked that why did I choose electronics and communications? Mm. So I think this is a very common question. Yeah. If you are from electronics background or mm. other backgrounds, you get asked these questions because if you're, especially if you're applying for software roles. Mm, mm. So then uh, he asked me about my personal interest and that was it. Okay. Then for the HR round, uh, it, it went for around 5 to 10 minutes only because mm. I was, uh, uh, actually I had to travel so I gave my HR round from a railway station oh. and yeah, so he asked me about basic things about whether I'm comfortable in mm. relocating mm. and comfortable with the shifts or mm. not mm. and which offices would I like, which office would I like to join. They okay. have two offices, one in Pune and another in Bangalore. Mm. And then he asked me that how excited I am to join Cisco. Hmm. So for that I told him that I've been trying to uh, get in Cisco from third year hmm. and I've been also participating in all their programs and like their Cisco boost and hmm. everything. So I told him about those things. So he sounded quite interested and he was satisfied with my answer. Hmm. Uh, okay. Then, uh, yeah, and the interviewers were really supportive. Yeah, and all the three interviewers asked me that whether I would like to ask them a question mm. at the end of the interview. Mm. So, yeah, one of the suggestions would be that you should be able to ask one or two questions at least. Okay, okay. Okay, so thank you so much for sharing your experience. Uh, do you have any tips for like specifically Cisco or anything in general? Um, yes. Uh, first of all, the basic thing is to study the main subjects like mm. operating system, database management system, OOPS mm. and uh, DSA. Mm. Though I wasn't asked any questions from DBMS, mm. uh, but still, if you are from CSE, even if you are from ECE, you should know mm. the basic things. Like I was asked from networking. Then after that, DSA practice is very very important because first round is the technical round and they usually make you code. Right. So for that it's really really helpful. Mm. Then coming on the resume, you should be able to, your resume should be very basic and a standard template. Mm. Um, I took the standard template from Overleaf and okay. usually the resume should include the basic information about education and everything mm. but the most focus should be on your projects mm. and the work experience so projects i included three projects okay and uh, three uh, work experiences okay uh, after that i would say the self introduction is very very important mm. 
many uh, many of us confuse with like what should we say for our self introduction mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it shouldn't be focused on our on the personal stuff right. but it should be in, including like it should include what projects uh, you have done mm-hmm. what were what are your academic uh, like subjects mm-hmm. or what subjects interest you the most mm-hmm. like that okay yeah. and then uh personally what i feel another thing is important that final year project when i mentioned that i have been planning for my final year project and what i have to you know i also explained about the project which i'm planning to do so that gave me a plus point which mm. they they were really satisfied by it so sometimes it is uh, it helps to have a final year project or or, or basic Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. It shows that you are uh, prepared and mm-hmm. you have planned for the future. Right, right. So, yeah, and then I would also suggest that uh, before interviewing, you should study the job profile and about the company. Mm-hmm. And also, if you sometimes they give the interviewer names, so if you are able to get those names, then you should uh, search them on LinkedIn or mm-hmm. anything. Mm-hmm. It really helps to connect with the interviewer and. you know right answer their questions mm-hmm. and uh, yeah the one which i said if they if the interviewer asks if you have any say, questions for us you should be able to ask some questions and uh, the last uh, suggestion i would like to give is uh, before going for any interview you should talk to your seniors and most probably talk to the seniors who have interviewed for the same company mm-hmm. because their experience is really really helpful um so yeah okay and, and i think for cisco networks is very important right yes specifically they were asking questions mm. okay okay thank you so much again for sharing your experience and for the suggestions and yeah thank you